gathering clouds. Here we go again, another right hand punch. Why? You're going to be facing a lot of right hand punches and you're going to have to deal with it. Some people you're going to be watching this tape with and someone goes, well, if I know I'm going to throw a right hand punch or Mr. Spry knows a right hand punch is coming, I'm going to throw something else. No, you're not. When they're in combat with you, it's the person that lasts the longest by having the more knowledge. That's the one that's going to come across. Not having it, but applying it. Most people are going to try to grab, argue, and hit you. Think of one thing else. We've only talked about the visual. There's also voice. Listen to a person talk. If a person's going to hit you, they get quiet. If they're talking, they're not going to hit you yet. Okay? Here we go. This is off a right hand punch. As Diane comes in and throws a right hand punch, I'm going to clear by going to the side, pairing up above the elbow. I'm going to use my dragon's head again, raking right to the ribs. I come all the way through, come right back, chop right to the lower kidney. This is what I want to do. I want to go to the organ. I want to step in, strike to the head, grabbing her, slamming her down on my knee, falling her up by throwing her to the ground. Why do I want to throw her to the ground? For one reason. The back of the skull is the easiest place to do more damage. And also going to do inner ear. Balance. That's what I want. Let the ground do some dirty work for me. Let's see it again. Right hand punch comes in. I come to the side. Rake through the ribs. Chop to the back. Step in. Elbow sandwich. Drive her down. Knee to the ground. Throw her down to the ground. Establish my own foundation. So I can finish the attack if we need be necessary. See it one more time. As she's coming in, I'm going to execute two strikes. The first one's a glancing blow. The falling penetrating blow, going right to a vital organ, the kidney. Hand comes in, parry, rake. It's already checked up for the other side, coming into the chop. This is going to turn her body to set up my next move. How do I get there? Easy. Step in, strike right here. Got my next move coming in. Scientific, that's what you want. What leads to the next thing? I've already got my move there. Grabbing her, slam her down on my knee, follow up by throwing her to the ground, establishing my foundation of an offensive base. Here we go. See it again. Gathering clouds. They have names. Why do we need these names? Hey, Mr. Spry, I can't remember all the names. Sure you can. They're for recognition. Could you remember the technique without it? Number them if you want to. You've got it right there. Use this tape over and over and over. It's your friend. Are you a friend to yourself? That's what you want to be. Comes in. Strikes. <clears throat> Arms checked up. Open the hand. Strike to the kidney. Move in. Elbow. Drag, slamming her down, my knee is penetrating whatever vertebrates that I can hit. If it's the back of the head, that's fine. Throwing her down the ground, establishing my base. One more time. We'll do it at regular speed now, so you can get a pretty good feel of how it looks. Establish, gathering clouds, bright day for me, miserable day for her. It's got to rain sometimes, but not on my day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Establish. 